on Hawaiian punch Know you like all this gush I know you can't get enough Sip, sipping on Hawaiian punch, ay. Hey, my name is Adeline Warren and you're listening to Girl Talk I like to say that I'm the big sister of the internet. You can watch me fuck up all you want, but hey, maybe we can learn something from it. I hope you enjoy. Hey, bitch. How you doing? We're joined with Blue. Blue, say hi. <laughs> Blue says hi. I, she's not even here for me. She's not here for us. She's here for my food right now. Um, but I thought today would be fun to do also a Q&A. You guys said that you liked the Q&A last time, so I thought that I would answer some more Q&A questions. I always ask you guys on my spam account. It's not Adeline on Instagram. Um, but yeah, you guys answer some or ask some questions. I'm going to answer them anonymously because, you know, who wants to get caught? Who wants to get caught with these type of questions? You know, only me. I put my shit on the internet. You know, that's what I do. <laughs> um... But hey, I make money off of it and you guys don't. So why would I be exposing you guys for no reason? Um, but I hope that you guys are excited for today. I'm excited. I have my wine. And I'm ready to get into it. Let's talk. <laughs> We're in a safe space. We're in my closet right now. I feel like everyone's closet is a safe space. I think it's meant to be a podcast room because a closet is just like, she's just like, she's full you know when when i go over to my friend's house we always hang out in the closet if there if it's like a walk-in closet or like the closet will be open and we'll be in the vicinity closets are just like a safe space so let's get into it <laughs> cheers to closets being a safe space <laughs> um first question someone said do you go commando if yes how do you deal with discharge so i went down this rabbit hole about wearing thongs to the gym i went down this rabbit hole and it said that wearing thongs is not good and you should just be commando and just wear no underwear in your leggings but then i saw a video of someone and they got a literal chlamydia in their eye because someone had chlamydia and they didn't wear underwear at the gym and they sat down and then I guess like their eye was in the same vicinity another person's eye was in the same vicinity they got chlamydia in their fucking eye and imagine that. Imagine getting chlamydia at the gym in your fucking eye. What? Sometimes I wish shopping could be done for me this holiday season. The holidays are the busiest time of the year, so don't get stuck worried about shipping your orders. Let ShipStation do all the heavy lifting so you or your team can put your time, money, and energy into more important things. Plus, when it comes to those inevitable holiday returns, ShipStation automates, recommends exchanges, and gathers customer feedback. Whether you're shipping from your house or multiple warehouses, ShipStation can increase your holiday profitability. It's so easy to use ShipStation's dashboard to manage Manage your volume of orders. Some features that really help me with ShipStation are that they have a free trial and a quick setup. Now it's time to try ShipStation out if you've always been on the fence. ShipStation shipping rates are so much cheaper compared to what I paid for before using it. ShipStation manages orders, prints, labels, compares rates, optimizes every shipment, and automates delivery notifications. Automate returns and offer custom smart recommendations for exchanges to keep customers happy. ShipStation has entered solutions that reduce warehouse costs and improve profitability. You can get up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. Over 130,000 companies have scaled their e-commerce business with ShipStation and 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. So let your customers shop risk-free this holiday season with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com slash Girl Talk today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com slash Girl Talk. Say my name when you go in it. Um, but yeah, I do go commando, but I am, I am open to suggestions because wearing a thong to the gym just does not feel right. It does not feel good. It goes, it rides right up the bum, right when you're getting in a good squat position, she goes right at the bum. Um, so I am open to suggestions, but to be honest, to be truthful, I do go commando to the gym. Otherwise, you know, Day to day, I like to wear some, a good thong. Thongs are my favorite. I always link my favorite thongs on my Amazon storefront. It's literally a G-string. 
and it's the best and people are like oh are g-strings uncomfortable not really i feel like i just i kind of got used to it also i think it's also a like childhood thing because my mom would never get me thongs growing up so like now that i'm like a big girl and i have my own money i like just want to wear thongs um but maybe that's just me. I don't know. <laughs> because I literally had to beg my mom for like bras and underwears. She eventually gave in. She eventually gave it to me. Love you, mom. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's some sort of like rebel against my mom. Just <laughs> wearing the thongs all the time. But yeah, for the most part, I always wear my underwear or my thongs. You know what I really want to try though? I really want to try. I saw this on TikTok. It's this um, period underwear. I saw it. Go, like, go on TikTok and search up period underwear. I've always wanted to try it, but I, like, I'm not even going to lie. If I ever have like a big granny panty type boxer type underwear, sometimes I'll use that. I don't like to do my good ones. Um, I always wear my, I have like specific period underwear that I wear and it's like my granny panty underwears. Um, but I've always wanted to try. If you guys know, please, 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 please put in the comments if you've ever tried the period underwear. I would love to know if you guys think that it's worth the money because it is kind of expensive. I was looking at it. It was like $30 or $40 a pair. I'm like, damn, damn, that's a Victoria's Secret bra. And it's just a, it's just an underwear. It's not even a sexy underwear that like you could show off to some, it's like underwear that you just like don't want anyone to see. But I'm like, is it worth it for the comfortability? Because I hate wearing a, I hate wearing a pad at night. I'm not even going to lie. I wear tampons at night sometimes because I hate wearing a pad at night. It's just so uncomfortable. It feels like a diaper. Don't like it. I love tampons and I wear tampons most of the time. Um, but if anyone has any experience with period underwear, let me know because I would love to try it out. I just don't know if it's really worth $40 or if I should just buy like regular boxers that are way cheaper and basically do the same thing. But let me know. Let me know in the comments. And if anyone's on YouTube, read the comments of people that, you know, have tried it before. Um, but do you go commando? If yes, how do you deal with discharge? I... I do get discharge. I do get this. The, what's it called? The snail trail. Um, but yeah, you know what's gnarly? I saw this one video and it was like um, how discharge literally bleaches your underwear. And listen to this. Did you know that? <laughs> this is insane. Did you know that if a man has a beard that's a little bit light around his lips, it's the literal pussy discharge that's bleaching his beard. That's kind of hot. <laughs> Is that not kind of hot? Like, that's insane. Now you know. Now you'll look at everybody, every man's beard that you'll ever see in the street. Look at his beard. Look at the coloring around his lips and see if it's lighter. And you'll know that man eats good pussy and he takes his time and it's so much time that it bleaches it period i wish every man was like that i would i want to see every man on the street with a little bleach around their their beard that's what i want to see if it's just full on like the one color girl i don't want it that's how you know that's how you know someone is good that's how you know someone's good going down there <laughs> <laughs> um anyways do you go commando sometimes um next question someone says what are your thoughts on threesomes i feel like threesomes are like so many people's dream and there's so many people's like i don't know fantasy and i'm the first one to say that it is so overhyped as someone i don't want to make myself sound like a whore but a good amount of my bodies are from threesomes. I've had a good amount of them. I've had, well, I've had guy and girl, and then I've had girl and girl. I've never had two guys. I just don't feel like I like dick that much. I don't really like dick that much. I could deal with one. Imagine two. I know people who have loved two. Don't get me wrong. I bet that some people love two, and it's good for them. But for me personally, that's a lot. I can't deal with that. I can't deal with two men. Ugh. One is already enough to deal with. 
<laughs> I'm kidding. I love my boyfriend. <laughs> um, but threesomes, I think, are very, 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 very overhyped. And they're always like on Pornhub and they're always like, you know, romanticized and whatever. They're very overhyped because a lot of the times, you know, no matter how good you are at it, even the professionals that do it on Pornhub, there's always one person that's kind of sitting there like, dee 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 okay, what do I do now? There's always like two people having sex. Like, hey, you can like always like join in, like you know, two people having sex and then, you know, someone's like eating you out or like, you know, a train. That's insane. I don't know. There's a lot of positions for having threesome sex. Um, it is very overhyped, but hey, am I, am I, Am I excited that I did it? Am I proud that I did it? Fuck yeah. And I'm so, I, I have the best story times. And hey, maybe I'll tell you one day, but not today. <laughs> not fucking today. Um, I have a lot of story times. Um, but thoughts on threesomes? Girl, if, you're, if your heart is telling you to do it, fucking do it. Fucking do it. If you're presented at the right place at the right time and like the stars all align and like people are down and you're like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just fucking do it. Just do it. Listen to your body and do whatever the fuck you want. And like, if you feel like people are going to judge you for having a threesome, just don't tell anyone. Like, I don't know. I'm so sick of people being like, you know, I even I used to be like this. I think that's why I'm judgmental of it is because I'm like, are people going to think I'm a slut? Are people going to think that I'm a whore? Are people going to think like I me differently? Just do whatever your heart desires, bitch. If that's having sex with one person, if that's having sex with two people, if that's sex having sex with three people, if that's having sex with a million people, have sex with as many people as you want because like what are you gonna do film it and like put it on Pornhub? like no one's gonna ever fucking know no one's ever gonna know that you've ever had sex with like two people three people four people five people no one's gonna know just do whatever the fuck you want because if you ever do hypothetically get in a relationship long-term relationship you're like damn i really could marry this person i wish when i was single that i had you know all my fantasies done just fucking do it girl because i when I was in my long-term relationship from high school, I'd always be like, oh, I feel like I missed out. I feel like I, you know, maybe bisexual. I feel like I'm into girls. I feel like I, you know, this or feel like that. You always have that regret at the back of your mind. And then when you're single, bitch, do whatever the fuck you want. Do whatever the fuck you want because now I'm in a relationship and I'm like, damn, I did whatever the fuck I wanted. And I feel good about it. And I had all these experiences and they're all in my memory. They're all in my diary. And maybe, hey, I'll tell my kids one day. Maybe I'll tell the podcast one day. Who knows? <laughs> but I'm glad that I did it because I know what I like and I know what I don't like. And I've had those experiences and I've you know, done what X, Y, Z. And I feel good about my sex life. And I, I don't have that little regret in the back of my mind being like, damn, am I missing out? Because I know, you know, threesomes are really fun. Would I be open to it in the future? Fuck yeah. If it ever comes up and like, hey, if we're vibing with someone, like, hell yeah, let's have a fucking threesome. Um, but I don't have any regret in the back of my mind that's like, damn, I wish I would have done this. You know? Do whatever you want. A lot of couples have threesomes. Like, a lot. Like, I swear, it's all over lesbian Tinder. Like, it's to the point that, like, lesbian Tinder is like, I do not want to hook up with you and your man. Like, people have that in their bio because that's how many people are, like, trying to have threesomes on Tinder. Um, yeah. <laughs> but fucking do it, girl. Do it. Be the unicorn. The unicorn is, like, so there's always, like, a couple and then there's the unicorn. Unicorn is, like, the one person that's, like, joined in. Be the unicorn. Be the couple. Do whatever you want. Have sex. Be safe. And also, pro tip, if, um, if you're having sex like one man one woman one man two women um he shouldn't he should wear a condom with the other girl just be safe about it even just like with girls and stuff like that with girls it's a lot less likely for you to get you know whatever stds um but just be safe Sip, sipping, I know I am punch, 
Sometimes I wish shopping could be done for me this holiday season. The holidays are the busiest time of the year, so don't get stuck worried about shipping your orders. Let ShipStation do all the heavy lifting so you or your team can put your time, money, and energy into more important things. Plus, when it comes to those inevitable holiday returns, ShipStation automates, recommends exchanges, and gathers customer feedback. So even if they bought the wrong size or the wrong color, they'll still have a great experience. Whether you're shipping from your house or multiple warehouses, ShipStation can increase increase your holiday profitability. It's so easy to use ShipStation's dashboard to manage your volume of orders. Some features that really help me with ShipStation are that they have a free trial and a quick setup. Now it's time to try ShipStation out if you've always been on the fence. ShipStation shipping rates are so much cheaper compared to what I paid for before using it. You can easily automate shipping tasks and manage orders and returns in one simple dashboard. You can quickly and easily update crucial order information and reduce errors. Effortless integration everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. ShipStation manages orders, prints, labels, compares rates, optimizes every shipment, and automates delivery notifications. Automate returns and offer custom smart recommendations for exchanges to keep customers happy. ShipStation has entered solutions that reduce warehouse costs and improve profitability. You can get up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. Over 130,000 companies have scaled their e-commerce business with ShipStation and 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. So let your customers shop risk-free this holiday season with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com slash Girl Talk today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com slash Girl Talk. Say my name when you go in it. Three times like you're superstitious. And my boyfriend was really cute. We've had, uh, I've never said this before. We'd had threesomes before and he's like done the research and he, um, he's always, I don't know. I remember when we were like about to do it, he was like, or no, after we were talking about it after. Cause we always like to have like debrief, like sex talks after being like, Oh my God, you were really good at that. Or like next time we should do this or like whatever. Um, he went up to me and he was like yeah I like went on google and it said that you should always come with your girlfriend to make her feel better about herself and I was like oh that's so cute that you like researched that. what the fuck <laughs> because I don't know I feel like that is a thing that is a thing I feel like I do know some friends and like they've had threesomes and hey it's different for everyone like some people have threesomes and like the guy doesn't even hook up with the other girl or like you know, there's different rules. There's different rules for everyone. Um, but yeah, just do your research. And, you know, if you have certain boundaries, like being like, you know, if we have a threesome, um, you know, make sure that you do X, Y, Z or, you know, make sure you, you wear a condom or make sure that, you know, I want you to do this and I don't want you to do this. Whatever rules you have, don't be like, just say it, you know, because at the end of the day, if he does something that you don't like or she does something that you don't like, and after you're kind of like that wasn't fun you know doesn't benefit anyone so set the rules set the boundaries um and i promise it'll be fun it is fun i don't want to i don't want to make it seem like it's not fun like hey girl it's like actually really fun and it's like really fun stories to tell um (laughs) but yeah just do whatever your body tells you and if you feel like people are going to judge you then just lie girl your sex life is your sex life that's why i'm like sometimes people are like oh you know what is your sexuality like what do you identify as and it's like you know i felt so pressured for so long to be like what am i am i bisexual am i pansexual like what am i and i used to go back and forth between both of those because i think at the end of the day i really could fall in love with anyone as long as i love their soul so there's points where I do feel like I'm pansexual, but also at the end of the day, I don't really give a fuck to put a label on it. And you don't really have to put a label on it because at the end of the day, it's just who you have sex with. That's it. It's just who you have sex with and no one has to know. And if anyone wants to know, why? Why? Why are you curious? Why do you care so much about what my sexuality is? About who I prefer to have sex with and suck off and fucking eat out? Girl, get a life and get a job 
and get something to do because why do you care that much? <laughs> Nobody should care that much. Um, next up, someone said how to stop feeling guilty about self-pleasure. So I grew up in a Christian household and it was always implied that, you know, masturbating and self-pleasure was you know, the devil and, you know, it was bad. And it was to the point where like, I think I remember being in middle school and I'd be like, I'm going to have a bad day because yesterday I made a sin and I masturbated. But girl, I promise you masturbation, if anything, is healthy. It's healthy. It's normal. Everybody does it. In moderation, I'm not saying to masturbate five times a day. I'm saying in moderation, you know, a couple times a week, once a week, whatever it is. It's different for everyone. Um, but masturbating is healthy. Just repeat it in your mind over and over and over again because it honestly is really fucked up. Like, I seriously grew up in a Christian household and I would feel like shit every single time that I would masturbate. I would also feel like shit every time that I would have sex. Um, and those two things are the most natural things on earth, almost as natural as eating food and breathing air. That's how we're even here right now is because your parents had sex and that's why you're here. It's one of the most natural things. And having sex is just as normal as everyone doing laundry. Everyone does laundry and everyone has sex. It's normal. Masturbating is normal. Having sex is normal. And I feel like I, there were so many times where I had to like ingrain it in my brain and be like, I had to unlearn all those things that like the Christian, you know, school that I would go to every Saturday would teach me. And I seriously had to like ingrain it in my brain and unlearn all those things that I've learned in those in that school and be like, you know what? Sex is normal and sex is natural and masturbating is normal and masturbating is natural in moderation. I'm not saying to masturbate five times a day. <laughs> I was just saying to just stop feeling bad about it because I would feel so fucking bad about it all the time. And I'd always like feel so shameful about doing it, but it is a normal thing. And I promise you, everyone does it. How are you here right now? It's because your parents had sex. Yeah. Stop feeling bad about it. <laughs> Next up, someone said, when hooking up with a guy for a one night stand, is it safer to take him to your place or go to his place? Personally, I see it's hard because you don't want to give a random creep your address. But at the same time, I want to tell you that it's safer to be in your own environment. Um, when me and my friends would go on vacations and we were single and we'd like go on vacation together. I would always say, you are not going to his hotel. You are, he is coming here because me and all my, all the girls will be at home. We'll all be at the hotel. And if anything were to happen, we're here for you. Whereas if you were to Uber to a random man's apartment or whatever hotel, you know, who knows what will happen. So that was always the rule when me and my friends were on vacation. I was always like, he comes here or they come here, whoever it is, they come to the hotel. Um, but I also want to acknowledge the fact that it's not safe to give a random person your address. <laughs> um, you know, hooking up is really fun, but I would definitely say get like get that person's information, have their social media have their Instagram, have their Facebook, you know, do the creeping, do the stalking, make sure that they're, you know, you know who they are and they're a real person and they're not like a, you know, whatever, uh, a catfish or whatever. Um, but I personally would say to have them come to you, but, you know, be safe, be safe about it. <laughs> Next up, do girls have to be completely shaved down there in order to do things with a guy? No. And I used to think that I always had to. And I used to like feel gross for like, you know, growing hair down there. Being bong. Fucking <laughs> hair is natural down there. And it grows down there for everyone. And I don't know why I felt so like gross about it. Because it just is natural. It's like growing hair on your head. Um, 
I'm not going to lie. I have had laser. I've had laser on my legs, my underarms, and my Brazilian. And it's just a personal preference. And I don't do it for anyone. I don't do it for my boyfriend. I don't do it for, you know, other people. I don't do it for anything else. I do it for me. Because I personally feel really good about myself when I'm clean or like shaved down there. And I don't have hair down there. And I'm so happy. Guys, I've been going to Sev Laser, SCV Laser the best laser this isn't even sponsored like they seriously after like i think two or three sessions my hair barely gr grows back after years of doing laser years of doing laser i swear you have to like try different lasers and this one works the best for my specific hair and my specific like body type after three sessions my brazilian barely grows back and it's the best feeling ever. And like, I don't know if anyone's ever had laser, but like the hair literally falls out. It's so fucking satisfying. Like the hair will literally from the follicle will fall out. And you're like, oh. <laughs> my hair is literally falling out. Like I'm, I have a bald puss. What does Nicki Minaj say? <laughs> like, cause I just be keeping that shit so bald and that shit be so wet. <laughs> Pussy so bald, like really bald right now. As Nicki said <laughs> I just love that shit and I feel so good when my pussy is bald I love that shit so that's why I do laser but I used to be so insecure with my hair down there it's totally normal to grow to hair down there girl I've done it all I've done it all to remove it I've shaved my hair down there I've done waxing on my hair down there I literally filmed it my first ever Brazilian wax it's literally on YouTube laser hair removal is the best and I would honestly say that waxing hurts more than laser hair removal. I swear to God, it lasts longer. It's so much better. But girl, it's totally fine to have hair down there. And like there's there's so many porns of girls and they have hair down there. You could, you could do the little decorations. You could have a full bush. You can have like a little landing strip. You could do whatever you want. Different girls like different things. Different guys like different things. But who cares about what the guys say? Do what you want to do. And do what you feel confident in. It's almost like wearing lingerie. It's like, you know, I feel the best when I wear, you know, this certain set. And it's not, I'm not wearing it for this person. I'm wearing it because I feel really good in it. And I turn myself on when I wear it. And I feel the best in it. It's almost the same as like shaving your pussy. Like whatever you feel the best in, whether it's, you know, having the bush whether it's a landing strip, whether it's a little design, whether it's a bald puss, whatever it is, whatever makes you feel the best, that's what you got to do. Because when you feel the best, that's when you're going to have the best sex. <laughs> Someone said, besides healthy eating, how can you make your kuka smell better? Kuka is crazy. I've never called my kuchi my kuka. <laughs> but I got what you meant when you said it. Um, I've actually heard, and I know it's true, Pineapple juice apparently makes your pussy smell better. And I know it's true. And it also makes men's cum taste better too. Because I'm going to be real with y'all. Sometimes men's cum can taste like literal toxic waste. But it's because they don't eat healthy. And then my boyfriend thankfully eats healthy. And it tastes fine. <laughs> I'm not saying it tastes good. It tastes fine. Okay, it tastes fine. I've never had one that tastes good. And if anyone says that it tastes good, I know that you're lying. I know that you're lying, girl. <laughs> because what the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck? But making your kuka smell good. Pineapple juice for sure. Um, you know, your vagina has a natural pH balance. And whatever's going down there, it's natural. And everybody's vagina has a natural scent. But hey, if you want to go a little crazy... Get some unscented baby wipes. Those are the best. Just like clean her a little bit. Um, those are the best. But that's all that I would say to do. Don't go crazy. Your vagina has a natural scent and a natural pH balance. Don't fuck with it too much. Don't be putting, you know, fragrances and, you know, shit down there because you're going to fuck it up. You're going to get a yeast infection. Something's going to go wrong. You're n it's natural. I promise. And if anybody complains about the way that your vagina smells, I don't even know what to say. Like, have you ever had a sex with a woman before? Like, I've had sex with women and like, they, like, it just has a natural scent. And I kind of like it. It kind of turns me on. If it doesn't turn you on, do you even like, do you like pussy? I don't know. I feel like when you really like someone, like, it's like the nasty shit turns you on. 
this is insane to put on the podcast. <laughs> I'm like, what are the boundaries? <laughs> um, but I feel like when you genuinely like someone, like anything turns you on, anything. And when you're insecure within yourself, things about other people make you feel weird and make you want to point it out. So don't be hooking up with insecure people because everything's energy. When you hook up with insecure people, their insecurities, you know, go on to you. Their anxiety goes on to you. Only hook up with people that you vibe with and have good energy because sex is the biggest transmit transmission trans <laughs> transfer of energy. Um, next person asks, you look like you smell really good. <laughs> that is seriously the best compliment I've ever received in my entire life. That is actually insane. That made me feel so good. Thank you so much for saying that. Um, you look like you smell really good. What body wash and perfume do you, perfume do you use? Um, my body wash I use, and I literally got people onto this. It's the Lush rose jam body wash i've got everyone on it seriously like when i was in paris amanda and mario would use my body wash and they'd be like damn this is good i'm gonna fucking buy this the the lush rose jam body wash it smells amazing and sometimes i'll just come out of the shower and it's just seriously it's just my shampoo it's just my shampoo and my conditioner and my body wash and my boyfriend's like damn you smell so like he's all over me and i swear it's that body wash, that Lush body wash. And then the shampoo and conditioner that I use, I, it's, honestly, it is a good scent, but I don't use it for the scent. It's the Purology, it's the Purology shampoo and conditioner. And it's in this little purple thing. It's in this little purple container. And it, seriously, I have naturally straight hair and it makes my hair, I mean, hey, my hair is like kind of crazy because it's the end of the day, but it has never been so soft, more than Olaplex, more than any shampoo and conditioner that's really expensive, like, you know, anything. The Purology shampoo and conditioner is fucking fire. And then I think the, I don't know what the shampoo smells like, but the conditioner is like this minty smell. You literally smell minty fresh. Those are my go-tos for the shower. And then my body for the daytime or when I go out, I love the Tom Ford tobacco vanilla. Bitch, this shit is expensive to the point that I I wouldn't buy this for years. It was on my Christmas list for years because I didn't want to buy it. And then finally I was in Europe and I was like, fuck it, I've wanted this for years. I'm gonna fucking buy it bitch you can smell the difference between expensive perfume and you know bath and body work shit and hey i'm not even knocking on bath and body work shit i love bath and body work shit i wore warm vanilla sugar for years like fuck warm vanilla sugar is my shit i love it and like hey if i if it's put in front of me i'm gonna spray that shit on top of me because it smells so good um but if you want something that lasts all day and something that you just smell and you're like damn that's like expensive shit if you know you know I used the, the Tom Ford one. And then I don't know if this is really for scent, but I got this in Paris and I really, really, really love it. It's the Nux, N-U-X-E. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, it's the, it's just like a, a multi-purpose dry oil for your face, body, and hair. It's just gold glitter. It doesn't really smell like anything. It's kind of, it smells like oil, but it oils you up. It makes you look so yummy, yummy. You look yummy. You look massage. You look like, you know, the porns where like they're all oiled up. Like, oh, you look so good. You look like a Victoria's Secret angel oiled up on the beach, bitch. Like this shit is so good. I got it in Paris. You can also get it on Amazon. I'm pretty sure I can see if I could link it on my storefront. Um, I don't know if it's prime, but I'll definitely link it. But that shit is really good, too honestly sometimes you just need to figure out what your scent is i feel like certain scents smell good with certain people's pheromones and for me personally i feel like that tom ford tobacco whatever vanilla perfume looks smells really good on me and i love that smell personally my boyfriend also loves that smell um but some scents just like smell good on different people and i swear like some people you know they say oh like this smells good on me this sm doesn't smell good on me 
it's it's your pheromones it's your natural body odor and it has to mix well with the perfume so you know go to sephora try them all on smell them see what you like um get the little testers i think that sephora has like this little like perfume tester and you could test a bunch and then you go into the store and you could get the full size of your favorite one that's a good one if you want to find your good signature scent i know some bitches are really um they're gatekeeping about their scent they they get really they get really sensitive about their scent because some people they take it really personally and they like to have their own signature scent hey i'm not like that i like to just like you know I, I'm not I'm not crazy about it. I, I just use that one. Some people mix the perfumes and I have respect for it. Like they probably smell really good, but I just use that one. I just like that one. Um, but yeah, go to Sephora and it, it's going to change your life. I swear. Because um, like, girl, I would spend because like during the holidays, they would have like Bath and Body Works like buy 10 for 100. I swear it's spent hundreds of dollars of Bath and Body Works, and that would equal to one Tom Ford perfume. I've never used up a full Bath and Body Works body spray, ever. So I'm like, girl, invest in the good perfume. You know, you're not going to use all 10. You know, there's only 365 days of the year. What are you going to, like, two sprays a day? That's like, like 600, 700 sprays. Isn't that like one? You can't even use that one in a whole year. You might as well get get the good shit before it expires. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's podcast. I might end it here. Um, but I love you guys. I'm always here if you need to talk. If you ever have any questions, ask me on my spam account. It's not Adeline on Instagram. And uh, yeah, if you're listening to this on YouTube, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're listening on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, make sure to give it five stars. It helps me a lot. And I love you guys. I am always here if you need to talk. Same place, same time. Love you guys. Bye. Did you like that episode? I really hope that you did. Um, if you haven't already, then make sure to watch last week's episode or the week after. Just click on the links, whatever it is. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed. Also, be sure to subscribe because it helps me a lot. Um, but I love you and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye. Sipping on Hawaiian punch. Close the sides, feel it rush. Sipping on Hawaiian punch. Are you like, oh, this gush? Oh, no, you can't get enough. Sip, sipping.